Hello there assassins and welcome back to another Wheel Assassin guide. I am back outside of the Byers Californian house from of course Stranger Things and today I'll be teaching you guys how to build episode or part number two of this series. Uh, now the first episode completely blew my mind with uh, just the amount of views it got so thank you so much for that guys it's just awesome to see. Um, all I can say is you were definitely waiting for this one. <laughs> you were not kidding. So yeah, thank you so much. I really do appreciate that. And it's been really motivating for me to uh, go ahead and get this new episode done as well. So thank you for that. Um, so yeah, today's episode, of course, we have ourselves the basic layout at the moment, just over here on the left. Uh, that is obviously in the main roads and the pathways and all of that sort of stuff around the corner here. Now, I reckon we should get the second half of that plan done with, of course, the back garden. Uh, now, this is a... Uh, it's its not the biggest of sections in the world, but it's going to be a good one to get done, as well as, of course, these trees, because, as you can see, we just have kind of floating logs right now, which looks pretty bad. So, uh, yeah, we're going to finish that up too, and uh, then we'll be able to, in a part three, start building up the house from the ground, where, of course, we have Will's bedroom, uh, Jonathan's bedroom, Joyce's bedroom would be around that area, I'm guessing as well, maybe, or she's upstairs. Um, but there is a bathroom down here and a garage as well. So, yeah, there's a lot to come, but um, I think today we'll get that back garden done and the trees. Let's go for it. So now for step one of today's tutorial, we want to grab ourselves these two materials, just some birch leaves and some warped fences. Now you see this little stump on my, well, behind my back here, and then this one just over there, the sort of smaller kind of logs here and here. We're going to be filling up these trees firstly and then working on the very very high ones uh, just afterwards. So we'll come on down to this one and we're going to use the warped fence as sort of like branches if that makes sense uh, from our actual logs just here. So if we start at the very bottom I've done this in a bit of a methodical kind of way but if you if you guys want to do something else you can do because trees are, of course are a natural plant and uh, plants do grow in all different sizes and shapes so feel free to you know make this however you wish to i'm just going to try and stick to my original one as much as possible and i say that very loosely because more than likely i'm going to make something a little bit different so we're going to go up just here on the third one up first see that's where all the leaves start on this tree anyways uh so i've gone three and then i've gone one forward just here i'm gonna build this one forward sorry on the sides for one each i'm gonna drop down here on the right for one and cross for one like this. I'm going to go down behind this. I'm going to add in myself one uh, leaf just above with one coming forward and a warped fence just here. Then behind this I'll do myself two coming out this way. Back up in this sort of direction. I'm going to come back behind the sign adding in one and I'll probably do one forward just here as well like that. Now this is going to be a weird looking tree I realize that now but it'll be okay. We'll do one two just here one on its left and one on its right with one up as well like that so it's a really kind of bizarre shape we'll do ourselves a warped fence here two leaves behind with a warped fence at the back up here except this one I could try and get this a bit higher I think what I will do is build myself one leaf in here one two here like so and then back up here now one two to build another fence up there perhaps like that yeah it looks pretty good so this is not going to be the tallest tree in the world as we know um, but we just want it to be up to a good height that uh it's going to look you know like it sort of surrounds the sign over here gives it a little bit of a backdrop kind of thing and uh wherever we put a leaf just occasionally dot around some of these warped fences because they look pretty cool um so i'm going to do this one just up here and just in there like so nothing too fancy at all i'm going to flip my picture around basically i use uh, pictures on my ipad of my original build to go ahead and build again so if i say flipping my picture around that is what i mean just i photograph every single side of this tree and i'm just going to go ahead and try and replicate it again over here so i've gone up just another two blocks this way i'm going to build one in there so it now connects there like that and i might as well just go ahead and bring this one just along here like so two out just in here so we have like a big square sort of shape in this little gap here we've got these three with one coming down just here um, what I'm going to do is trim this one 
trim this one and build a third one up there. Trim this one now, so we have just one back there. Do a warped fence over here and a warped fence back there. Now I'm going to do a leaf, a leaf, warped fence up here. And then over this way, I'm going to do myself a leaf up here with a leaf here like that. I'm going to try and wrap the tree around this area now. So on the back here, I'm going to go one, two in here, one, two up here, one, two, three, four, just in this space here. Of course, it looks a bit square on this side, so I'll sort that out in a moment. But at the back here, I want to add myself in one, two, three, with one leaf down. In this gap up here, I'm going to place myself another log. So I'm just going to pick block my acacia back and just stick one here. And then I'm going to try and do one up the side over this way. Now, don't worry about the direction of wood too much. But if you are a bit like me and you have a little bit of an OCD about it, feel free to change it like so. Now I can bring these down like that. Add myself in my warped fence to connect the logs like so. And then I'm just going to add in a couple sort of leaves dotted around like this now. Just to give the sides a bit more texture make them look less uh well man-made <laughs> i mean this side is looking pretty man-made right now so i'm just going to sort this out like that that's not looking too bad still looking a bit strange now this is going to be different from my original one but like i said trees are different so if i have made it look extremely different to my original one then i'm not terribly worried because it's just going to grow anyways like a normal tree. So yeah, we just want a nice mixture of the birch um, leaves basically with our warped. Obviously certain areas of this are looking a little bit square so I can just sort of sort things out. Maybe like that. Yeah, that looks much better. Just that one fence in there changed everything. Maybe another one up there. Maybe remove that log. Sorry, that leaf. I'm pretty happy with that. So yeah, going to get the basic shape on the front done. And then the rest of the sides, I'm just going to go to town with because it is tricky to replicate trees once again. Now over this one, this one is a little bit sparser with the leaves. So we can go a little bit sort of easier with this one, which is nice. Um, all we will do is we'll take ourselves a couple more logs. So we're going to go with a fence just here firstly, a log here, a log up, fence, 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 fence on all sides that is. And then up this way, we'll do ourselves another log with a leaf coming forward. And then up this way, I'm going to do myself a leaf with a fence coming forward. And then another log on top of that leaf. And now the rest of the tree, <laughs> pretty easy to sort out. We're just going to go with a log here. We'll do two leaves here, kind of going around surrounding this one. One out on the side there like so. I might do myself one coming down. Oops, sorry. One just here, here, two down here, two down here, maybe a third one down as well. One, one, two to fill that gap. Try and copy the back if I can. Might get this one nice and symmetrical, I think that'll look pretty cool. Keep the front like that, that's fine. That one like that. I don't want the max height of this one to be too tall, so I'm only gonna do kind of those six at the top there with a singular one in the middle like that. And then I'm gonna drop it back down for just a few like this here and there kind of dotted around like this. Trying to make it look like an acacia tree that you'd find obviously in the savannah biome in Minecraft. So maybe over here, I'll just do something a bit different. That one just there. And then up this way, I'm gonna bulk up the leaves so that only um, these ones uh, this one is going to have no leaves connected at all, but this sort of second one up from the acacia down here, sorry, not the acacia, what's this? Oak leaves is going to have the birch leaves on it. Now, I realize this section is probably going to be like, what? It's going to be a bit like confusing, uh, maybe a little bit overwhelming. But like I said, guys, do your own thing here. You don't have to copy me at all. The reason I'm still talking and not just saying, you know, do this part on your own, guys is because I found a lot of you guys say to me, um, you find it easier to build complex sections when uh, someone else is talking. So I am exactly the same. When I've been watching tutorials myself, I do find sometimes just hearing the creator in the background kind of blabbering on 
is kind of helpful because <laughs> it keeps you all on the same page. So even though we're not building the same thing kind of here, um, I wouldn't worry too much, honestly. There's no right or wrong way to build trees. So do your own thing, do what you need to do. And as long as we achieve the same goal, which is obviously adding in a little bit of foliage around the front of this house, then it's all gonna be absolutely hunky-dory. So there we go. That's what I'm going for with my trees over here. If I show you my original ones, they're gonna look entirely different, but that is okay. That is absolutely okay. So there you go, there's that one. Obviously it looks a bit different. And then this one, on my original one, I've uh, kind of pushed it back. Whereas on my new one, I've kind of brought it forward. So, uh, but yeah, I'm cool with that. I'm absolutely cool with that, it looks good. I'm happy with it and that's all that matters. So yeah, that's good. Okay, now for the bigger trees, they're a little bit different. We do have to be a little bit more cautious. Um, it's just about where we place the branches rather than the actual leaves. The leaves are very, very crazy as you can see here. So what I'm gonna do for this next section is I'm gonna teach you guys where to put the branches and then we just need to go ahead and surround those logs with one layer of leaves, as you can see. Pretty much on all of these, I've just added like a couple extra beyond the logs, but otherwise they're all just covering the log section and the top bit is just a big mess of leaves. So uh, it's pretty easy to follow. So I'll go ahead and just scrap my inventory, only getting myself my acacia logs and my birch leaves, getting the dimensions of those uh, individual kind of branches coming off the trees, and then I will teach you those, uh, what is it, four trees here? Those four trees here. Five trees here. <laughs> Let's go for it. All right, so for our first tree, obviously we're gonna take ourselves our birch logs and our acacia logs back again. Now then, for the branches of this first one, it is gonna be this smaller looking log just here. Now there are in total four trees. I said five earlier because we kind of build beyond this one, just back a block, so it kind of, Kind of technically is another tree if we're going to look at it like that, but it is for the same big tree, if that makes sense. So for the logs on this one, we want to go down to the ground and count upwards to the 10th block. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. We will build two blocks on the side here. We'll come down and build another two. Come down and build another two. That is our first branch just here. Actually, I'm going to build this one to three. So two, two, and three. Then I'll go back to the 10, which is obviously here, and go 11 and on 12, adding in another log here. Two upwards from this position diagonally. Two back from this position diagonally with one connected this time. And then another two, one, two, just over this way, like so. Now this block up here will be number 16. Let's just double check together. This is 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. We wanna go behind this. I'm just gonna get the wood to be the same direction, like so. I'm gonna go upwards to 13 blocks in this height. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, actually, um, I'm going to go six, my mistake. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'm just going to knock off four. There we are. That's my mistake. I was reading a B as 13. <laughs> I guess it looks like that with the, with the space there, but that's just my bad writing. So we have six just here. We're going to go one to the left at the top. And then we'll go two to the left diagonally up from that. And then two to the left diagonally up from that one. Perfect. Now then back down here to the 16, we want to go to the side of this one, just here. That's number one, and we're going up to 11. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Notice how this one and this one are now in line with each other. So now at the top of the 11, we want to go back to the sides of it and just place one on each side. Then on this left side, build one up and from this one, go one to the left and then upwards for another four. One, two, three, four. Over on the right side, you've got this one as number one and we'll just go one, two, three, four from that position just there. So we have this strange looking fork of a tree just over here. It kind of looks like it's got his arms out pointing towards the house. Um, so that is perfect. And that is that one just done there. 
Now, I think we're going to get all the branches done firstly before adding in any of the leaves, just to, you know, not complicate ourselves too much. So we've got number one down. Let's move on to the one behind it and then over to the left side of the house. So for our tree behind our tree we've just done, we're going to take ourselves our logs firstly. We will go to the bottom of the trunk, of course, and count upwards to nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, just here. I'm going to go with two to my right. I'm going to bring one down just here. And I'm going to go... Oh, sorry, this one's going to be one down at the back here, like that. So it's a bit, a bit strange, but it's like that. And then I'm going to go for two, three... And then I'm going to bring one forward just from this position. Uh, forward or... Yeah, I'm probably going to do this one forward just here. So it's a bit of a strange looking branch, but that is how we do that one. Just in there. Nice one. So we have number nine is here. Next, we want to find 13. So 10, 11, 12, and 13. From this one, come behind it. Place in one, which will then allow you to build three. Then we'll go down for two and then down for another two. So technically just ones like that. That's fine. I'm just going to change the direction of wood. Nice one. And then we'll go up from the 13. So 14, 15 and 16 is our next one. And this is just going to be twos coming down for twos. Nothing too fancy at all. And now for the back of this tree, we actually want to add ourselves some branches um, that come kind of between the roof of the house at the side and the front. So as you can see down here, you can actually kind of see the outline of where the house is going to be thanks to this tree and hedge round here. So at the back of this tree, we want to go up to the 14th block from the ground upwards. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, obviously 9's there, 10, 11, 12, 13, and of course 14 is going to be just past the second branch on the front. We're actually coming around the back here and we're going to extend this one up by a single one, which is absolutely fine. You can actually knock that one out if you wish to, um, but if you want to leave it in there, that will be cool too. We will go three, then we'll go back on ourselves down here. So coming out this way for another two and then we'll jump down for another two again, sort of diagonally away over here like that. Perfect. Now, luckily, we aren't going to collide with the house here. So even if we did go a little bit skew with here, but I'm pretty sure this is all right. Uh, it's not going to be in the way of our home. So that's absolutely fine. Up at the top here, what we're going to do is go from 14, which is obviously going to be where this one is, and go 15, 16, 17, 18, just up here. Two out on the back. Two down over this way. And you can do another two uh, sort of behind this one over this way if you want to to be honest there's enough branches over this way to not have to worry about that if you don't want to um, but if you do then that's absolutely fine as well so that is that looking good hell yeah that's pretty good um, what I might do real quick as I'm just here I'm gonna go ahead and move this one up a few more blocks so I'm actually gonna go I've got my 14 here I'm gonna go 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 just about here. I'm going to build this sort of in the middle of the top and bottom of this section. So I might even be on 22 just up here, just to give it a bit more space, you know. I'm seeing we have a lot of space here and we don't need to be exactly accurate to my original one. So I'm just going to do that instead. Lovely. That looks better. That looks really cool. Now I was just having a little think about this, guys, but I was thinking when we are going to go ahead and build our leaves they're probably going to come in the way or some of them might come in the way of our house so as you can see on the back of this tree that is getting a bit close to our home so i don't know whether to build the leaves today or build them in a future part but i feel like if we want to complete this section on the exterior we're definitely going to have to build the leaves so we can always just remove some afterwards when we get onto the house if they do become a problem um, but to be honest we're building it nice and far enough away to not collide with our home it's just this one corner I'm a little bit concerned about, but it should be okay. So yeah, we'll uh, we'll probably build it all today, and then you know if we need to trim some things, we'll trim some things. If we don't, perfect. 
Right, I feel like we should work on the trees around this side now. Okay, so as we have these two trees very, very close together, similar to the ones over on the right side, we're going to build these together. We'll start with our most front tree, which is, of course, this one without the sort of bucket of paint hanging from the tr uh, the branch there. <laughs> and we'll go 10 blocks up from the ground. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and on 10. We want to build one block forward just here. One block to its right. One block going up diagonally, up this way, basically. And then another block kind of diagonally out from that one. I'm just gonna change the direction of these so they look a bit more like they're coming off the same one. Like that, change the direction of that one. So it's kind of like this. It's a very strange looking design. That is that one. Now this is number 10, of course. So we'll go 11, 12, 13, and on 14 up here. We wanna to build to the right side again for one with one behind, then one to its right, and then basically diagonally up from these, one, two, like this, and then one dropping back down diagonally over this way. It's a very strange looking tree, this one. So it kind of goes like that. Might just change the direction of this one. So it's like this. Weird pattern indeed, but it does work once uh, the leaves are on there. Now over this way, we'll go up from the 14 to 15. So literally just one block next to it. We'll go two logs this way, then a third one with one forward. That's perfect. Nothing too fancy there. <laughs> Save us some hassle. Then we'll go up to the 18th one. So this is 15, of course. 16, 17, and 18 is up here. We will go to the side over this way for one, then up diagonally for two. So one connected, kind of one up from that one. And then to the right for one up this way, like that. Nothing again too uh, tricky there, which is nice. Now this is 18, so we'll go up beyond this one to 22. So 19, 20, 21, and 22. Up here we'll do one forward. We'll go one off to the right, but diagonally. And then, actually, you know what? I'm gonna go one normally, and then I'm gonna come behind for diagonal for two, this direction. So that's looking good. Okay, I'm gonna change this one to one up, and then I'm gonna move this one up for, for, blah, 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 for two diagonals like that. That's what I meant, just like so. <laughs> it looks a bit funky, maybe a bit tall, but that's actually really good. Now at the very top up here, just before we reach the peak of this tree, we're gonna drop back down and we'll do one, two, just out here like so. Brilliant. There's also gonna be one back behind this, uh, so we can go to the second one down on these logs and go for one just back here, kind of on the side, just a single one like that. Nice one. Now coming onto the tree behind this, where of course we have the paint bucket, We'll go up to 14 blocks from the ground up. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14, just over this way. We'll go for one block on the side over here. We'll go for two up, just over here, kind of at the back diagonally up. Then we'll do ourselves another two up diagonally from this one. Like so. One to its right, uh, sorry, to its left over here. And then two diagonally to the left, kind of behind. Like this. So it's kind of an interesting shape, but once you've got it down, we're good to move on. That was on 14, so we need to go up to 19 now. 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19 is up here. One to the left, and we go two diagonally back to the left side over here, just like so. Now at the very peak of this tree, so we have 19 here, we're gonna go to 27. So 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, just on this one. We'll go one and then two diagonally to the left, like that. That's everything for that tree, <laughs> that tree, those trees even. Now they look really cool actually with the branches on. They definitely give them more of like a natural look rather than just big twigs sticking out the floor. So that's good. <laughs> we'll get on to the last ones doing, uh, sorry, the branches for the last one. And then we will take our leaves and sort of, you know, probably make them into trees rather than 
winter trees right now. <laughs> just just dead branches, really. It looks pretty uh, depressing. <laughs> we'll sort that out. All right, then. So for the final tree, we want to come up to the sixth one on the branch. So one on the trunk, sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll go for one just out here. Uh, except we're going to build it forward for one just here. Then again for another one. Then we'll go forward again for a single one with one up and one to its left like that. Awesome. Now from the sixth one, so obviously here, we'll go to the eighth one. So seven, eight, just over this way. We want to do one back now, just here. Then we do one behind that one with one to its right. And then we do two rights just diagonally back from those two like that. On nine, so literally just a block up, we will build ourselves one forward round the side of the tree on the left, and then two diagonally up from these two, uh, from the singular one. Like that, nice one. Okay, so from nine, we go to 13, so we need to go 10, 11, 12, and 13 is up here, of course. We wanna go back for a single one, and then we'll go back for a single one, and we'll come up for a nice old one up there. Now we'll go to 15, so we have ourselves 13 here, 14 and 15, we'll do two. These will actually connect to the tree at the front, like that. One up here, one forward just here, and then three kind of diagonally up this way. Oops, like that. Just gonna change the direction of this one, just like so. So that was on 15. We'll go up to 19 now. So 16, 17, 18, and 19 is up here. Adding in one just here. And then just doing two across to the left over that way. So from 19, we'll go up to 21. So 20 and 21. We'll come out and back just there. And then out and back for a second one just up here. And then we'll do one to its right up that way. Now from 21, we want to go to 24. So 22, 23, and 24. We do one, we'll come out forward for two, dropping down on the end for one, and across to the left for another one. Now we'll go up to 28, so this will be the top of the tree. So 25, 26, 27, 28, almost the top of the tree. And we'll go for one, two, just here, with one up, We'll build one, two in here. One, two, three, this way. Knocking out the center one and trying to build it backwards. So I'm just gonna build two back in there. I'm also gonna come up to the top of this way and build one, two, with one forward. And then at the back here, I'll do myself one, two, with one down as well. Maybe even one there and one there just to give the top of the tree a bit more texture. I'm also gonna do one just here as well. Oh, okay, and maybe one there. <laughs> just to change up the top of this tree, because uh, all the rest of them look a bit too sort of plain, don't they? So there we go. Now we'll go ahead and just place the other logs that are gonna be in the... Oh no, actually, we'll keep that for afterwards. So let's get the leaves done now. So now then, guys, as I was saying beforehand, we literally just wanna go ahead and surround our logs. So each log for the branches, just surround them with a lovely amount of leaves just to cover the logs individually. It's a really simple process, but it actually makes the trees look really cool. And once you have all of these done, it will start to look really good. So the best thing to start off with is just going ahead and decorating every single log here so we don't have any sort of exposure on any of the sides. Only with the actual branches though. Don't worry about the main sort of um, trunk itself. We only want the branches to be sorted out so this part here is still part of the branch and so is this bit but the things that come off of them are obviously parts of the uh the branches themselves so we'll do the branching together and then we'll fill out the top separately because it's a little bit more random and you can kind of do your own thing with it which is really nice we do like a good freestyle in uh, a tutorial so that's looking pretty cool fill that one up and maybe the bottom that looks good. Over this way. 
It is a very, very lengthy process because we have to do every single tree. Uh, but like I said, once you've got it all down and everything is looking really good, it will start to look like it should and properly take place in the setting of California. Now we've got this one tree done together. If I go ahead and show you how to do the top, then I'll leave you guys to do the rest of your trees on your own because honestly, once you get it down, it is quite a simple process. So what I'm gonna just quickly do is pop on down back to the trees already done, these branches, and just add in occasional leaves, just dotted around in certain spots. You can go a little bit crazy with this as well. You don't have to kind of do it carefully or whatever. You can just go a bit sort of berserk, adding in them where you want really, kind of like that. So already that looks way better, way more natural. If I just take out some of these as well, just to make it look a bit more sort of funky, maybe even add some diagonal like that, just so it again looks like it's been rendered in rather than uh, placed there. And over here we'll do the same. So like this, a couple like that, and so on and so forth. So just literally doing what we did to the front garden trees with these ones just here. Kind of going a bit random, placing them in random spots. And then once we roll up to the top, we can literally just go ahead and build this out, spamming our place button to go ahead and build a big cluster at the very top up here. Again, no design necessary, no methodical process to go ahead and build this. Just going ahead and placing a bunch of leaves to build a nice old tree. And I'll show you what this looks like at the front in a minute because honestly, you'll be surprised. It actually looks pretty cool. There you go, that's one tree pretty much done. Of course, you can bulk out some of the leaves more so in certain areas. Obviously, you want the most leaves to be at the top of the tree. If I show you my original ones, you can see what I'm on about. As you can see over here, I've kind of gone with a flat surface uh, for the underside of these leaves and then added like a bit of a bulk down here between the two sets of uh, forks. So I've gone here, add a bit of like dripping effect with the leaves here on both sides. And then as for the branches, they're kind of just in certain areas filled up, but otherwise other areas like their connections, not so much filled up. Just because I think it looks really good, you're kind of going for that savannah look and that is what we want. So yeah, you got this guys, go ahead and get this done and then we will continue with the back garden. Okay then guys, so now we've got the monstrous task of our trees, quite literally monstrous. We are going to go ahead and start with our back garden. Now for that we'll take ourselves some acacia leaves, some oak fences, some normal gravel, not that there's any type of gravel that's different, but hey, <laughs> azalea leaves, mangrove leaves, spruce leaves, oak leaves, oak trapdoors, and finally some spruce fences as well. Okay, we're gonna come on down to the right side of our house firstly with our iron fence up this way. Now we're gonna take ourselves the acacia and we'll start just next to the iron bars over here. And we wanna go 22 blocks up this way. So number one is here. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Now we'll double stack this. And the perimeter fence of this garden is going to be two blocks in height all the way around. And it's also going to be on this top layer of grass. So we don't need to cut into the ground for the exterior fence um, like we've done down here. <clears throat> Excuse me. We will for the rest of the garden. As you can see down here, we go down like a step almost into the garden. But as far as the fence goes, we don't need to worry about going, you know, like digging down for the fence, which is awesome. Saves us some hassle. Now we'll take ourselves two blocks along to the left. Now I'm only going to build one layer today and then I'll go back through and double them up afterwards. But as long as we get the dimension done first, we can then extend them up. So that's two, one, two, oops, sorry, like that. Diagonal, so two. Let me just tick this off my uh, sheet as I do this, just so I don't make any mistakes. Two, one, and two. Then we wanna go for a single one, then two, then one, then two, then one, then two, then one, then two, and now three, as we're almost up to the end of our uh, sort of perimeter up here. That's awesome. Let's just double check this. So of course we've got our, our two, our one, our two, our one, our two, our one, our two, one, two, one, two, and finally three up here. 
We're then going to go into two, then one, and we should be up to the edge of our perimeter, which is where we are, which is awesome. So this next one will be a good old 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Then we drop back down to the left for four. One, two, three, four. Down for one and one. Then three. And now down here to nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then starting on the corner here, we count seven back on ourselves. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, just here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's all good. So we're going to extend this perimeter fredge <laughs> hedge just up now, just by a few blocks. Maybe even go three sort of layers here like so. So you can just build basically next to this one just here. I'm going to build this up a little bit further. Like that. That's perfect. And now I'm going to backtrack with my perimeter fence around here to build up the entire hedge kind of up here at the back of the building. And there we go. Real quick, I'm just going to replace these uh, good old leaves I've just placed, but with my oak instead, because I completely forgot they are a different material, which is very important to get the correct ones. So, oh, need to get that one back. There we go. Awesome. That's all the same, and that's looking good. Now we're going to come on down to the four, sort of um, ground level, the sort of floor. And we're going to need to sort of dig under certain areas now uh, rather than, you know, place any more sort of hedge leaves, if you like. So we're going to come underneath them. So I'm going to make a little sort of corner shape just like so. And also dig under my leaves here. Like that. And then up at the end here, I'm going to start with a spruce fence. Then I'll do an oak leaf. And I'll keep alternating these as I go along. So in the corner down here, you can do another um, fence if you wish to, but I'm going to leave mine. I'm going to move my fence up just a block. Just like this. That's looking pretty good. Now, I think at the end of this nine here, we actually go ahead and, and replace this with like azalea underneath the, um, the ground here. Because it's kind of going to be in sort of the ground and then going up above. Um, this area, so it's kind of interesting. So we want to go ahead and sort of place this just a little bit further down into the ground here. Like that. And then we can take ourselves our leaves on top of these to make sure we have three layers around. We'll dig the next trench in front of it out. And then we'll start from this end up here. We'll go for our azalea here and here. So we have two normal leaves above. And down here we'll do ourselves a spruce. Then we'll do an oak leaf, spruce, oak leaf, spruce, oak leaf, spruce, oak leaf. And you get the drist. Drist? <laughs> the gist until we reach the end up this way. Which of course is going to be ending on, on, on an oak leaf uh, just up that way. So that's pretty cool. So the garden itself does dig down a good two blocks. And the third one is where we're going to build, obviously, our, our sort of gravel and our pathway. Um, but the rest of it is kept, like the rest of the perimeter fence is kept all the way um, with the same material. So it does look pretty good. Uh, now, I just realized I have used two different materials here, as you can see. It is oak leaf and azalea. So you, I mean, sorry, acacia. So you can take the same material twice if you wish to, or you can mix up like I've done. Now, because of an OCD I have, I am going to have to switch everything up, which I know is a bit of a pain, but only for this one section of the um, perimeter fence, because you know, can imagine that these things have been planted here um, to be different for the, uh, for the homeowner here. So there we go. That little part is different from the rest of the sort of perimeter fence here. So that's awesome. There we go. I'm also going to dig in just the square here just to make it into a bit of a rectangle. And then I can put the gravel down I have in my inventory 
and get that, <clears throat> gosh, excuse me, get that onto the, uh, the ground as well. So we'll go with our gravel underneath these. Whoops. Making sure not to do that if we can. <laughs> so they're going to go under the fence and under the dirt here. Even in that corner if you can get it. Just because it looks like it's properly been landscaped, which is good. Oh my goodness. There we go. All the way around here now. And we probably will need to change some of this later. But for now, we can have a giant section of gravel that will kind of fill up this area and make it look good for our bird feeder that will come in here just later. So yeah, that looks lovely. Nice one. Now, if we come a little bit further along from this, of course, where we have ourselves our lovely azalea leaves, we want to add in our mangrove just next to it for two. And then we're going to do ourselves some spruce leaves, obviously digging down to two, but they're going to go the entire way up to the perimeter fence there. Then we do two more mangrove up here. Bear in mind, guys, all of this layer in here for the back garden is going to be knocked down two layers, so you will be able to see these leaves uh, in a little while. Down here, dig down for two, and in here as well, but only place yourself some oak leaves, so one here and one here. Around the next little bit, you can do yourself two trapdoors, so again, digging down and doing them up the back wall here, so against the dirt that we have before. Now we're going to need to pay, place ourselves kind of a nice little... Uh, I guess you could say like hanging basket kind of thing. So we'll do ourselves a fence here and a fence just up here in a second. But for now, let's get some oak leaves here and here. Then our fence can go in here and then our one oak leaf there. Then we'll dig in this one and build ourselves two trap doors up the side of the wall. And now to the side of this one and uh, obviously behind it, you have yourself some spruce. Now what we're going to need to do here is dig behind and dig in front. So we have four. And then we can take at the front here, one, two spruce fences with one above. There's also going to be one coming out the side of this one. There's going to be an entire hedge at the back here. So just built up with two and four. And then I believe you can do one just in here as well, like that. So it's kind of dangling forward a little bit too. Now that look, <laughs> sorry, that will look okay once we've finished. I'm just going to knock that block out as well. Just to kind of make like a little tree, I guess, in there. Now over this way, we're gonna double up our acacia. So we're gonna take ourselves our acacia leaves for another three rows of two. And we're gonna dig in front of it for these ones. And these ones. We're gonna stick ourselves some oak trap doors up here. And then some azalea leaves beneath them, just there. So we didn't really need that space just there at the moment, but we will use it afterwards. Now up this way, you can take yourself a good row of three. Obviously digging down to two with our spruce leaves and out the front for another two. Here we're also going to build around the waterfall that goes in the corner. So we're going to take ourselves our azalea once again and we'll do two blocks in here. Two blocks diagonally forward, two blocks diagonally back and then we're going to go up to the wall just there for those two. One up here, two back down in here. Yeah, that's actually cool. And then over this way, we're kind of closing off this waterfall section by building out three in the floor down there. That looks really cool. And there's going to be a nice iron sort of fence just going in here to really like close off the section that comes down into the garden um, to show the different layers of this garden. But we've used up all our leaves here, so that's really, really good. Now, I think there's a little bit more to come later, but for now, we can move on. Um, with a nice laid out garden, which is awesome. All right then, Assassin, so for this next bit, we are gonna need some andesite slabs, some azalea leaves, some stone bricks, some moss carpet, oak leaves, spruce fences, a stone brick slab, nether brick fences, and gravel as well. Now, coming down here to our perimeter fence over on this left side, do you remember when I said it was seven and we extended this one along? We are going to stand it along just by another two blocks to make it up to nine. So we can end off on a fence down here as well, obviously with the gravel beneath as well, as well, as well, as well, <laughs> as well, as well, <laughs> just like so. It is not the most important thing, but it just adds a bit more, you know, detail to the whole thing, makes it look cool. So there we go. 
Now then, I am going to go ahead and start by going to the other side of my garden, which is all the way over this way. Or so, I believe so. Uh, kind of over this way. So just where we have ourselves these azalea leaves in the ground down here that are going to be separating our um, waterfall area from the rest of the garden. So we'll take ourselves three blocks across this way, of course two blocks going down. And then we want to take ourselves the azalea going for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine blocks just in here like so. That looks awesome. We're now going to jump into the floor down here in front of it. Like that. Adding in an extra two blocks on the end. Up here, knock out these two. Replace the ground bit with uh, stone bricks and then place moss carpet on top. And then take stone bricks beneath the azalea. Just here as well. Like so. That looks brilliant. Now we can take ourselves down here. And we're going to take a good six blocks along from this gra ground grass block. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Over here, we'll stick ourselves a fence just here. Another brick fence that'll come up for three. We'll go over the grass here for one, two, three, four. So basically making it five in total. And then the end three will come down for those two extra layers as well. This one you can just knock out, ready to go. But basically there's gonna be a door just in here and a door just in here, but this one's kind of closed off behind a gate. And this is the gate just here. We'll then leave an extra three blocks on the end of this. One, two, three. And on the fourth one, build yourself one stone brick this way and build a long four, six this way. So basically going forward. So number one, two, three, four, five, six, just like so. And I believe at the end of this one, or just close to the end, I'm just going to quickly speed to the front here so I can have a little look. Yep, we're going to do ourselves a block on the end here. So that's forward from that. And then we'll do ourselves two stone slabs in front of it, just here and here. And that should leave you with about three blocks between yourself and what is going to be our wall um, just afterwards. But for now, obviously, it's just going to be a nice bit of grass, but that's okay. <laughs> that's all ready to go, which is perfect. So yeah, that looks really good. Now, I know, it, <laughs> well, I say it looks really good. It looks a bit strange right now, but it will look really good eventually. Now up this way, past your moss carpet, going to this grass block. This is going to be our number one. And we're going to count up to 11, going directly to our left. So number one is here. Two, we can actually use gravel for this. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven, just in here. Now on eleven and ten, there are nether brick fences, and they go up just another block here. Now we're gonna make another pattern on this wall that is gonna be part of the house. So for now we don't have the house here, so we're just gonna take ourselves a random block uh, just besides it for a temporary wall to build three fences across the top, knocking out the wall, and then three down, starting with two like that with one on the end, and then one is going to come up diagonally from the rest over up there. So it'll just be like this, like so. And that's all ready to go. Now down this way, we can now take ourselves our gravel again, and we may as well fill up this top area where it doesn't go down. It's, you know, the same layer as the front garden. So we'll take ourselves one, two, three just in here. Go on four, then add in one, two up this way. So we've left the gap of one, then three. Now we have two, just here. We'll go diagonally two. So we have two. Then we'll go diagonally four. One, two, three, four. Like so. Then a number one. Then one again. Just like that. Adding in one from that one. So you've now got two on this right side. Add another one this way. And then jump back down for one just here. Fill in those singular ones. And then fill in this row of three just in here. This one can actually come back for another block to come down here to the two. There will be a spruce kind of um, uh, hedge just in here for these three blocks before going into our little tree at the back here of acacia. So for now that's fine. But we can go up here now for this one and then along and double up this one at the front and then just fill in all the uh, gravel blocks in this little space here 
and that's all ready to go for some detailing. Now around the side of the house here, where we have the fence, just drop back for two. And then come along here for one, two, three, four, five, six. Jump up for one and then build back from that singular one just there. And there we go, that's the gravel at the back of the house sorted. So we're trying to lay out the entire building here so that when it comes to actually building the house, we have everything prepared for it and hopefully in the right spaces. <laughs> we'll do ourselves gravel down here as well next to the uh, block of um, stone that just comes out, but make sure it's in the ground. So three blocks down just above bedrock just there. We'll also build next to this again. Uh, we can actually go a layer up. So next to the uh, stone brick here, we'll do about three. No, we'll go about four oak leaves to the right, then build the two at forward and then one forward on the lower right side. That looks wicked. Now we're going to take ourselves along this way. Starting on this uh, stone brick, we'll place a slab and we'll go for 12 this way. You need to build a block beneath this as well. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Obviously build up the blocks beneath just because you will see these blocks in certain areas and we don't want anything to be grass. And then fill it up with slabs just there. Then you can do two up this way. Again, same thing with the blocks and the slabs. And then we'll do a single one with the slab. And then of course, we wanna go up this way, just next to hopefully the iron bars, which it is for these three, just in here with the slabs of course as well. And there you go, that'll take you up to the, uh, the sort of entrance way on the side of the house here. And honestly, I was a little bit concerned that that was not gonna happen, but there we go, we made it. <laughs> oh, note to yourself, believe in yourself. <laughs> awesome. Now down this way, I'm gonna trim out this entire section because I know beyond that wall, beyond that iron bar wall or fence is gonna be the actual house. And it's actually gonna be uh, Will's room. So beneath this can be filled out with our stone bricks, but no slabs on top of this section. So basically everything in this uh, grass area. Oops, replace that in a moment. I will say landscaping is probably one of the hardest things in this build series um, because it's just a pain. And if we don't get everything exactly right, then it does have a knock on effect with other sections. But so far so good. And that is all that matters. We are making great progress and that's cool as well. Oh, there we go. So that section is now filled in and that's kind of the decking area for outside of Will's room. And it also takes you up to the actual back door as well, because it's kind of floating up that way. Now there is a bit of a hedge up this way, so I'm gonna teach you guys to build this one now. Um, now I think I placed grass blocks beneath the hedge, but for here, just to save us some time and hassle, you're not gonna see the grass, so I'm not gonna worry about it. So we're just gonna instead gonna take ourselves some spruce fences here. It'll be one, two to bring us up to the iron and then three and four to bring us past it like so. You can also build one this way with another one here and another one here. So that's now three. And that's kind of the drainage pipe for the side of the house. So we won't worry about that one again for the time being. We'll now take ourselves some oak leaves and we'll go for four just here. One just out here. We'll do three and one just here. We'll do another three with one just here another three with one out here and then two to end it up that way like so and that will look much better when it's got blocks behind it perfect now i think there's also some more hedges at the uh, front section over here so yep there's going to be a gap of two between these ones and the new ones so down here there'll be three obviously two layers down as well guys and then two on the right side and then one up this way like so perfect that looks wicked. Now what I'm going to do whilst I'm here, I'm going to take myself my grass black, um, black, back even. So I'll take myself just some grass pick blocked here. I'm going to remove these grass blocks here because we know that this is going to be pathway. So everything in this little space here can be all removed. Like so. Placing that grass block, of course. And then I'm going to take myself my gravel and I'm going to take myself gravel here for two, here for two, 
here for another two and here for three knocking out this one and then I'm going to knock out this one this one this one like so and basically we're trying to get up to where there's going to be a spruce kind of hedge here so if we drop back down that's going to be our final one so we can remove that one I'm actually going to go ahead and remove the gravel here instead apart from this final one that can stay but those gravel blocks there they're going to be replaced with grass those ones in the middle can be left for now they're going to be mud bricks we can remove these as well just in a diagonal shape so there's going to be about six diagonals one two three four five six gravel 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 and these ones will be our mud bricks going up to the wall there so yeah that's perfect that looks really good up this way as well you can also remove the uh, grass blocks in here at least down to the correct layer which is just going to be obviously two blocks knocked out and then that dirt you can even leave the dirt to grow normally if you have your tick speed on very very quick then it will grow back very fast so you could leave that instead of having to replace it and it will just grow back into normal grass soon um, or you could just quickly sort it out but it's up to you guys that looks good i think we should get some more materials now because i think we are all depleted with the ones we have currently um oh there's a an azalea kind of hedge up here on the wall which is cool so up here on the decking if you want to come next to this uh oak leaves down here go up here behind the slab and place four to the right and then two in the middle like so and i believe that's just the hedge there there might be another block just up there if you want to add that one in but uh yeah that looks really good awesome Okay, let's go ahead and move on. Now there is always one material that does slip my mind and I completely forget about it. And it is the poor old andesite slabs here. So before we do scrap our inventory, let's get ahead and sort out these sabs. Sabs? Slabs. <laughs> oh my word. Okay, let's go. <laughs> let's go for two whole blocks just up here in between this three of dirt we left or grass. And then we're gonna come diagonally forward and build one block with a slab. Then diagonally forward from that with one block and diagonally forward from that for one slab. So if I move the blocks around it, you can see that this now goes into like a nice staircase that you can walk up with a Minecraft character. So there we go. There's also going to be a couple gravel blocks uh, just on the sides of these. So there would be a gravel one in here, here and here. I believe you could also place some back here and here and then do the same this way as well like that. It's up to you guys. But there we go. That's much better than it was. And I didn't forget it. <laughs> well, again, I mean, <laughs> but there we are. Now then, hopefully my editing skills are a little bit better than my building skills and I can make this as seamless as possible. But at this part in the video, in my original upload for this video, there was quite a big error. An entire clip was kind of missing. And so we sort of jumped to the next part of the uh, video and uh, you can kind of see I've done a lot of building and it's like one of those kind of memes for Minecraft uh, YouTubers where they've built an entire house in their, you know, off camera time. <laughs> so that was unintentional, but it was brought to my attention by a legend by the name of uh, Zizai NL Alien. I am so sorry, my friend, if I'm pronouncing that wrong, but I just want to say a huge thank you to you because honestly, without your help and your timestamp, I wouldn't have been able to spot that error and henceforth correct it. So thank you so much. You've saved me a lot of heartache and hassle. So thank you. Um, what I try and do just to quickly explain to you guys is I always try and scrub through my videos during editing in the rendering and afterwards as it's kind of uploading um, but I did edit this one at about three in the morning in my original sort of edit run through so I reckon it was just tiredness and henceforth I made a really really bad mistake and that was missing out that clip so my sincerest apologies for that one but we're here to correct it let's take some mud bricks some cobblestone slabs some spruce leaves iron bars an acacia log birch leaves cut sandstone, some normal grass, and I've actually grabbed myself a grass block just in case I destroy anything, you know, uh, and need to place it back. Now, one other thing I need to quickly mention is you'll see some things over this side of the garden that we haven't yet done together on this video. Do not panic. It's because I'm kind of having to <laughs> slice up my chronological order for this video um, in order to come back to this section I messed up previously to rebuild it if that makes any sense hopefully but don't worry you're not going to be worrying about that until later on so we can we can forget about that side of the garden for now 
Come down here though, take yourself your iron bars. You want to go ahead and build a railing next to the staircase here, just so we don't fall off, you know? You don't want to come down here and just have a little, whoa, a little accident or something. So we're going to need to drop, uh, chop out the grass next to the gravel like that. So you can see we have like a, a bit of a, an area like that. You saw nothing. <laughs> we're going to take ourselves iron bars just in here. Uh, we'll actually do one kind of where this block is just here in this corner, like that, kind of on the ground. Uh, you can also do a second one in here, I believe, just like that. Um, what we'll do is come out another block. Hold on, if we place ourselves the ones on the ground first, it's a bit easier. So another one goes here, another one goes here. So it's like this. And we also do two more kind of this way, like that. Now, of course, they're going to connect to the grass at the moment. That grass is not going to be there later. Now up this way, we need to connect here, around the corner to here, and around the corner to here. And then of course, you kind of go into this corner down this way, just so you don't fall to your doom. So it goes kind of up like that. That looks pretty cool. Now, once we go ahead and remove this block and this block, you can see how it's supposed to be. And that one, it's supposed to be like that sort of thing, just like so, which looks kind of clean and uh, a bit cooler. Well, what I'm gonna do is remove the innermost ones so like this, and kind of build them on the at the outskirts of these now, like that. That looks pretty cool. So then I'll remove the blocks that connect them. We should have a railing that looks pretty similar to my one just here. Just double check my work, but I'm pretty sure that's all good to go. Brilliant, I'm just gonna remove that one just so it don't connect either. And the one behind. Now I know the little gap here, the kind of whole block gap, does look like a mistake, but I assure you it is not, it's all good. Now we need to do a similar thing up this way, but it's a little bit easier. We start in the corner there, just for two, two down, and one in that gap just there. That's perfect. And feel free to remove the blocks just around that like so. Again, you saw nothing. There we go. <laughs> so that's the railing done. That is step one of our missing section complete. Now those that are watching this video now, since the uh, the sort of new upload, you're going to be like, what? What is he talking about? Don't worry. You, you, again, <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> we'll take ourselves iron bars here, 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 just to obviously in line with this one. And I'm going to double stack these. And I'll do the same over this way, just leaving a gap, of course, for my staircase. And I want this one to stop just in line with my gravel so I can build two kind of blocks in height just there and there. I'm next gonna take myself my mud bricks and I want to go ahead and follow kind of this section back um, to the back pathway. So what I'm gonna do is bring one, two, three, four just in here. So I'm up to this grass block here. Then do two diagonally, one diagonally, two diagonally, one diagonally, two, one, two, one, two, one. And then we should get onto a long straight piece just up this way that is going to go right to our gravel up this way. Like that. That's pretty cool. That looks awesome. So now we're going to also take ourselves a few more um, little details up on this sort of higher patch of the garden. And this is going to be with two trees. So we'll need to come into our sort of cobble up here. We're going to go from this gap here and count number one is obviously here. Number two is this first one sticking out. Number three, number four. Then on number four, so we're on this grass block, come out another block, so you're two blocks away from the gravel. And on the third one, you wanna build here, sort of in the ground with your cobble just there. That's pretty cool. Now I wanna go ahead and build myself basically two trees up here, like I said, and they're gonna be a little bit detailed from each other and uh, slightly different from each other as well. So I'm gonna build another sort of piece of uh, cobble in there and another two up this way. Obviously there's whole blocks in the ground with one back there. Now to texture around my tree trunk, which is gonna be in this gap here, I wanna take a cobble here, <clears throat> excuse me, cobble here, cobble block there, and maybe a cobble block at the back there or something like that. Just to give it a little bit more, you know, detailing, making everything not look the same on all ki uh, on all sides. Kai's what? <laughs> sides like that. That is perfect. Right. Now the next thing. Oh, I'm just gonna 
adding a block down there. The next thing is we can actually like decorate this tree into a, a bit of a bonsai sort of looking tree. Um, so it definitely has its own sort of unique look about it. So I'm going to go up and I'm kind of going to follow the pathway a little bit. So I'm going to take one, two, three, and about four blocks up. Then I'll go to my right by one, to my left by one, back from the left and out and knock out this one. So you can see it's following the pathway and up this way I'll do the same thing, like so. I might do an extra block up top. Now I just need to take my birch leaves and literally surround all of the logs on this sort of layer, like this. We're properly building savannah trees now and we'll bring them down uh, just a one block sort of layer here and underneath the logs of course as well and above and now we need to get away from the fact it looks very very minecrafty very very square so we'll just go ahead and add in a few extra blocks to kind of double up in certain areas and really give it a bit more uh, you know texture to it like this get away from the square look and really start to build more of a, uh, a shape to it Kind of trim. You can trim some uh, a few things here and there. Just give it a little bit more style. And then up top, it's always worth adding in a few extra blocks. Just here and there. So it looks a bit more natural. As you can see, that looks pretty good. Yeah. Don't mean to blow my own trumpet, as they say. But I'm happy with that. That's not looking bad. Knock that one off. And maybe this bottom one. Oh, and maybe that bottom one. Yeah, that'll do me. That'll do me. Right. Now, if we go over this way, we're going to build a second one, but this one is kind of surrounded by hedges, which is kind of helpful for us. So it's going to be just here next to the gravel, and it's going to go one, two, three, four, about five blocks up, like so. Second one down, you come out for one, two. And over this way, we're going to come out for about one. Ah, we'll do two as well. Why not? We'll just do like a, a sort of cross, like so. Kind of like a fence post, really. We'll build one, two, three leaves coming down and three leaves forward. Then three leaves again, so it's three lots of three. Then I'm going to do myself doubling up on the side. And then bring three there. And around this way, I'm going to do two, one, one, one in here, one, two down here, cover up that log, two beneath the log, two around the log, up top for two. We'll go one, two, three down this side. Two again for the back of the uh, tree. Two up here for across the log with one out and two down. And then we'll bring one in that gap down here. One in the gap down here. Three just there. One, one. And now up this way to shape it a bit more. Again, getting away from that Minecrafty look. Knocking out the top one here. And then adding in a couple blocks around here. And a couple blocks up top. Now, if you watched the first episode, which I imagine you would have if you're here... Um, you can do what you did with the big trees and just kind of go a bit ballistic uh, and kind of build whatever you like really but I'm just going to stick with a, a bit of a simple design for the rest of my tree all in all it you know it kind of looks like a, a very stereotype sort of <laughs> tree just there but uh, that's all right that'll do the trick right the next thing to do is to take spruce leaves for here for three and then behind the log and to the end of that grass sort of area to the uh, two lots of gravel at the end there. So that is those two trees done just in there. The last part to do for up here is just taking some grass and literally just dotting it around, making this section look a little bit more overgrown. Uh, try and keep as close to the mud bricks as possible up here. And then you can go a little bit sort of out in this gap just there. Now up this way, I'm just gonna knock these ones through because obviously our house is gonna be in here. But yeah, just make it look a little bit more overgrown and again, a little bit more detailed. And now that top section is back to being up to scratch. We are back together, which is great. Now that tree's gonna look a little bit different when you see the next video, but don't worry. All trees, you know, we're trying to achieve the same sort of purpose, which is obviously they're gonna be looking quite natural. So if my original tree or my next tree that you see in a minute sucks, you, you know why. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna come down this way now. And the last thing we need to do to catch up is to take our cut sandstone and actually kind of build the pond area down here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take myself down to the bottom. I'm going to go next to my fence over here 
and place one in the ground here. So literally just the layer above bedrock here. And then we'll do one just diagonally up from it, which is gonna be obviously beneath one of our fences here, which I might end up turning this one a bit more inward. I feel like that would be better, right? No, 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 it's fine. We'll go one, two, three with our sandstone. We'll do one beneath the uh, corner of this iron. We need to go diagonally up from this one. So we're gonna cut out the uh, blocks of grass here and build three and then cut out this corner down here for one. You saw nothing. And then down here, we'll cut out these two to build two in here. Sorry about the, uh, the ground being a little bit uneven there. So let me just recap. If you need a little recap, we need one, a corner of three, up diagonally for one, across for three, back down on ourselves for one, and back down on ourselves for two, before entering a single one down here, up to our leaves just there. So everything comes back to the leaves, which is really nice. So this space you see in here is all gonna be to do with our kind of waterfall and our little pond area, which is perfect. Now then guys, I'll ask you to go ahead for the next section to be all caught up. You need to go ahead and remove this two layers of grass, just all in there and all around here, obviously where the hedges are and everything like that, and inside of the pond area. And then you'll be all ready to go for the next part of the video. So yeah, my apologies once again for the mistake, but a huge shout out to Zize, uh, sorry, Zizai uh, N L Alien. Thank you so much, my friend. You are an absolute legend. Really appreciate you. All right, good luck with the build, guys. You got this. So now we've done that, that is looking awesome. We finally have ourselves a good layout for our garden and it's starting to look properly like a garden. We'll take ourselves down here and fill in our mud bricks over this way, like so. Now you'll notice there's still a bit of a jump, so if you want to swap out your cobblestone slab here for a mud brick slab, uh, then that'll do the job just nicely. Where are the mud brick slabs? There they are. Just here, like that. Awesome. Now down this way, we'll take ourselves our packed mud. We'll go in line with this oak hedge over here, and we'll build down for five, like so. We'll go back up on ourselves here and jump this way, diving to the left for two, down for one, down for one diagonal, one diagonal, and down to here to the azalea. Then we'll fill in these three and up to this corner. And we can fill in basically everything around our cut sandstone here, including those blocks down there, with our packed mud. So let's get that done, guys. And there we go. Now that section looks really well done and finally completed, which is awesome. So now we just need to take ourselves a few more materials and then we can call it a day. Let's get on with the uh, waterfall down here. Oh, before we do, and before I forget again, <laughs> let's get ourselves this hedge going up this way. Now there's gonna be another hedge just up here on the sort of decking area. So we'll take ourselves some grass blocks for this for about four. We'll take two of our spruce fence, sorry, spruce leaves just up here. Then some uh, fences just up here. And then some of our leaves on top, like so. There we go. Okay, I believe now we're ready to, to move on. He says, fingers crossed. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll move on and then if there's something, we'll, we'll get it back, it'll be fine. We're almost there now. We'll now take ourselves some mangrove leaves, some jungle trapdoors, stone slabs, andesite slabs, cut sandstone, polished andesite, a water bucket, grass, and a lightning rod as well. Now, first things first, we'll start over by our waterfall. And we wanna take ourselves our cut sandstone once again. We'll go up to this one underneath the leaf and add in another two to its right. And then one here diagonal. We'll then take ourselves our stone slabs on top of this one and this one. And we'll remove the blocks just in here to expose the bedrock beneath. I've got to replace that one just there. <laughs> we don't want anyone going into this waterfall and falling through. Ooh, or following through, that could be tragic as well. We'll take ourselves, <laughs> Goodness me, we'll take some polished andesite here, here, and two blocks back here. We'll take another block down here. We'll take a block of stone just here with a stone slab on top, andesite slab in here, and then two stone blocks just back there. We'll do two andesite blocks back here. Oh, sorry, like that. And then an andesite block with a slab on here. 
one andesite slab just in here to get back to the stone. And over this way we'll do ourselves an andesite block here and a slab just there. Now we'll take ourselves water in this little puddle kind of area here. Now from the front it should only look like it's kind of flowing down on these little sort of slab sides which looks awesome. And then of course fill in the water down here as well. Make sure everything is level and that is looking awesome. How ourselves a beautiful waterfall. This looks really cool. Brilliant. I try to make it look like a rock formation up here and kind of try to make it look as natural as possible while still making it look man-made because of course, you know, it is man-made. <laughs> it wasn't just here with the house. But there we go. Now we'll come over to the side over here where the uh, sort of decking part is. We'll take a jungle slab down here and then one here and one a space away here. We'll take mangrove leaves here for one two, three, four, doubling up three on the front, two on the upper side, and then one up there as well. We'll switch our mangrove for some spruce leaves and come to this gap over here for one, two, three, four, five blocks of those spruce leaves for like a big sort of tree just there or a little hedge thing. We'll then take ourselves over this way for the bird feeder and we'll come two blocks away from this fence. So one, two, and on three, build one, to three lightning rods ready for a bird feeder in a moment. Now up this way we'll just go ahead and litter some grass around both sides of the um, mud bricks as well. Try and really go to town with it. It looks like it's a bit overgrown this area and uh, well well kept but it's just you know it's kind of thriving with the grass so that is just enough in there like so. We're kind of making it look like a small meadow which is pretty cool. And there we go. Now we'll get ourselves onto the bird feeder. So to finish off today's episode, we'll take ourselves some oak trap doors, some oak fence gates, some bowls, an item frame, jungle fences, spruce stairs, spruce slabs, birch fence gates, and some spruce trap doors as well. Now over at the bird feeder, we'll take ourselves an oak fence gate open at the top here, just like so and one on the second lightning rod down, open there, like so. We'll shift or crouch click to place an item frame on the front of these, with a bowl in each one. And then you wanna stick yourself an oak trap door just beneath each of the setups, like so. Awesome, just a little bird feeder in there like that. Lovely. Now over this way, we will take ourselves our jungle fences. We will go one block away from the slab over here and place one two, three, and these are going to be the stirrups that hold up the entire house. So um, they're very important. There we go. I believe it's three in there. If we need to extend it, we will, but I think it's three. Awesome. Now over this way, I thought I'd give you guys a little bit of a, a bonus kind of tutorial today, and it's just going to be starting off the house in a way. We're building up the stairs to get into the back door. So we'll take two of our spruce stairs just here, one upside down. We'll do a slab behind it. And then we need an upside down stair just here. So we'll have to place a normal stair behind to get that one in there like so. Then again, a slab. And then we need an upside down stair up here as well. Voice break, sorry about that. Just like that. <laughs> so it's basically three upside down stairs diagonally up from each other with slabs just connecting those two like that. And this one connects to the building, so you don't need to worry about that. Now we'll do open fence gates on those with the birch and then a spruce trap door on top of each of them. So you may have to crouch or shift click for these. Probably with them shut, it's probably the best way. Oh, if I can get myself close enough. There we go. Just like that. Perfect. And that is kind of the railing going up the stairs. And then for the actual stairs, just two more rows of two stairs in like so. And beneath these, you can just add in some slabs if you want to, just to double up those, but you don't really need to, it's not necessary. But there we go. That is that. All ready to go for the actual house. How exciting. Brilliant. 
And that is it for today's video, guys. Well, there we are, Assassins. That is another episode of the Bias Californian House here in Minecraft. Thank you so much for joining me for another very long tutorial. I know these have been very long episodes so far, and I hate to say it, but they are going to get longer. Um, we do have an entire house to build still. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to take a while. But um, we're getting there. We're getting there. We're making progress. We've done the surrounding area now, so all that's left to do is the actual house itself. I say all that's left to do, that's... that's the whole point of the tutorial but anyways it's gonna be awesome i'm looking forward to it but thank you once again for sticking with me for another episode if you guys have enjoyed this one please drop a like on it if you're new around here please consider subscribing you know the drill by now and um if you could do me a huge favor and check me out on social medias i'm coming close to some new goals over on instagram and tiktok so if you could please follow me up on those i'll drop the links in the description below you take the best of care guys i will see you next week for another episode of the bios californian house in Minecraft, I'll fix that afterwards. Uh, <laughs> and I will see you guys next week. So yeah, take the best of care and have a good one. Goodbye for now.